this is Long Sansap or Sansap Canal. On this particular day, I just dropped a doll off at school and walked out the back of the school and came to this pier. It's very close to the back of the school. If we go up the canal a bit, we get to the next pier, which is called a sock pier, and that pier is the pier I'd go to if I'd come straight from out on there. This is the boat, it's constructed from wood, it has uh, a V8 bus engine, about 330 horsepower or something, a diesel motor. You can see many people in this shot. Uh, it's first thing in the morning, so it's peak hour. It's also uh, full again like this during the evening. However, through the day, uh, there's not that many people to, uh, to overcrowd the boat like this. Yes, the water is very dirty and when it splashes up like that, it's not very nice. Sometimes it hits you in the face and when you take this boat, you have to keep your mouth shut. The ticket inspectors come, rope handlers come, money handlers. Uh, they seem very confident, sometimes overly confident. Uh, I've never seen them fall into the water, but uh, I've seen passengers fall into the water. Uh, I saw one the other day. Uh, there was some pushing and shoving and, and a rope caught hold of a pram and the father went to grab the baby and the mother fell into the drink. Uh, not long after that somebody else fell in and the police came along and it was a big thing. Uh, this is Badunampia, and everybody has to get off. This is the end of the line for this boat. If you want to continue up the canal, you have to go to another boat. The other boat should be waiting in front, I think. The boat's just so big and heavy, it's just like it doesn't tilt when everybody moves to one side. It's amazing. Bridges are very low and the canal is very shallow, so they have to monitor the water level. If it's too low, the boats hit the bottom, and if it's too high, the boats hit the bridges. Here comes the other boat. And those who want to continue up the line will then get on this boat. However, I don't want to continue because this is where the shop is. We go up these steps. And then I order my morning coffee from the lady up the front. And she says, okay. And then they go to have a look at the glass to see if it's still there. And here we have a shot of the pier on the opposite side. And the boat pulling up and all the people getting in. Last night there were so many people that they had to rope off sections so people wouldn't push forward and force other people to fall into the water. The water itself is actually run off from the road when it rains. If they didn't have these canal systems through the Bangkok, oh, it'd just be flooded all the time, it'd be like Venice. And some people call Bangkok the Venice of Asia for this reason. There it goes. There's V8 pumping away. They should have this at the Murray River 